guys. For today's video, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. The classic old what's in my makeup bag video. And it's going to be soft spoken because the whispers might not come through so well because it's just my phone that I'm using. I have no no fancy microphones or anything like that. It's very, very basic lo-fi with me and my few subscribers will already know that by now. So that's why I only have few for now. But what's in my beautiful pink sparkly makeup bag? So this is beautiful. It's actually meant to be a pencil case, but <laughs> I uh, I love it. So yeah. I know some people like zippy sounds. So. I don't usually do ASMR videos on a, a high exposure light, but for this one I kind of have to, so that you can see the things. So, ironically, this is a what's in my makeup bag, and at the minute I only have the ends of my eyebrows and a bit of lip gloss on. I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> I'm trying to let more natural air get to my skin, so I haven't been doing full face, although I badly need it because I have trouble sleeping, which is quite obvious, which is why I'm such a fan of ASMR. Uh, uh, I'll just do a random whatever comes out first, then it is my eye pencil or lip and lip liner pencil sharpener, which I use for my lip liner and my white eye don't know what you the white thing that you can put in this bit and that's what this is for I had to cut these there I I am too clumsy to have long nails I think I've said this before I just end as soon as I go to scratch an itch of that I cut myself and I'm scarred for a year. So I love my nails short and neat and clean anyway, so I might not be able to tap on the things as well as I would have done if I didn't cut my nails, but I'll try. And another huge moth just got in for the five people that's probably saw my last video you see that that got invaded by a moth as well oh, I don't mind them though it's the spiders that I and anything that stings like a wasp or a bee that I can't but the spiders that is that is the worst for me oh no and there was one on this wall right where I'm sitting a few weeks ago close to me when I was eating my dinner because I'm sitting at my kitchen table for this video and uh, you know it was right there and I didn't see it and it was almost on my hair. I'm quite apprehensive when <laughs> like looking around me all the time as soon as I go in a room to make sure there's no spiders because we've had quite a few in here recently. This is a pencil sharpener as well, so all of my cosmetics are stationary based. So my lip liner and eye eye thingy stick is just plain coloured pencils. Joking it's not, it's they're not. <laughs> I'm not that desperate yet. But no. Nah. This is one of my 
my focus has been my focus has been silly as usual so this is max factor face finity all day flawless pearl beige now as you can probably tell I'm very pale and I usually I used to go for the porcelain type or really light foundations but they make me even whiter than I already am if that's possible so it's <laughs> um I already look quite ill because of my lack of sleep and stuff so they make me look even iller <laughs> uh, so I've kind of had to start going for very very light beige just so that it matches me but it gives me just a little bit more of a colour uh, like my arms and they have quite a good tan on them from a day out I had last month nice now that the skin stopped peeling off them so just something very subtle like a basic tan that you can barely notice but not even really a tan just like a little bit of basically so that I look alive which is something I struggle with uh, even when I was a kid I used to get called into the nurse's office at school because of my pale complexion and because they always thought I was ill but it's just because I've never slept well my whole life and I don't eat too well either because I'm very fussy, very particular, very limited palate to what I can have so no red meats or anything like that or like vegetables or big cooked meals I just that's not me uh, that doesn't help I'm kind of malnutritioned but I do, I have been trying to improve my health with exercise and eating more fruit and stuff but when it comes to it I'm just I'm just me. I'm just weird. I don't know what's going on with this. It looks very greasy, despite the fact I washed it earlier. <sighs> anyway. But yeah. I would say I am healthier than I look. Although I still, in real life, when I'm not in a, a light, I'm, I do, you know, look like I may be a little bit unwell all the time. Well, I usually am, because I'm usually always tired or, you know, just feeling not well in some way, but, you know. I do my best and this I've only had it on once full, full face and this is the thing when I wear foundation no matter what it is whether it's this one or this one which is the best ever for full coverage and it's the uh, what is it max factor again radiant lift and it has all these little twinkly pigments in it that's meant to brighten you up light ivory so that's slightly lighter than that but uh, the lady in the shop said this was the best because I always ask what's best what can help me with these because no matter what makeup I wear it covers I only have to put a little bit tiny bit on the rest of my skin so I've got one thin tiny layer all over here but under here I have enough to build a house with because it doesn't matter I've even tried to combine these two but it does not matter and this is amazing it covers them well but nothing completely covers these or takes them away and they're actually starting to get quite puffy now as well so it doesn't cover that either and for someone like me with already very low self-esteem it, uh, it doesn't do much to help me uh, so And there's currently a huge daddy long legs in this house as well, which has been following me around all night, so don't be surprised if he tries to make an appearance and all. 
So, this is great for coverage for when, like, I have a breakout of that, though, but again, with these, nothing that I've ever tried seems to, to work. I'd have to go to, like, a professional makeup artist, like, you get, you see in, like, you used to see in Debenhams, or like, you see in John Lewis, where there's someone in the chair and the, the specialist is giving them a makeover. I think that's the best shot that I would have if I could afford it, to to have someone professionally do it with the top range products. That might be the only chance I have of ever looking human. <laughs> so, I, I don't know what. Well, that's these two. And going back to the subject of these, I also got this which is NYX, and it's meant to be the dark circle corrector, you know, because it's yellow, it's specific yellow, and it's supposed to cancel out the purple, which mine are really dark purple and blue. In real life, they'll look a lot worse than they are on here just now, so. But even this, putting this on, and then putting these two, combining them, even that, it doesn't, you know, I put it on in two seconds later. <laughs> you know. I think that's why I've stopped, partially stopped doing full face coverage because it's a pain in the, the bum when you have to take it all off when you get home at night. And it never, it never really made that much of a difference anyway. Not like I wanted it to with these, so, I don't know, some days I'm more confident showing them, and that, well, days when I just don't care, or I don't have the time, but other times I'm like, damn, I should have covered these, <laughs> when I catch myself in, like, a shop mirror, like, see, in the clothing department, you see the mirrors, and you're like, oh, oh no, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm trying to work on my confidence and my body image in a lot of ways, but these help sometimes. <laughs> Just not with these. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my head kind of up toward the light so that you don't see them as much. Uh, that's those two and my little dark circle corrector corrector <laughs> um, uh, what's next for oh, goodness sake ah my little lip blam blam balm blam no, 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 no. Lip salve. This one is. Moisturising formula strawberry from Boots. And it actually tastes really nice. So. Sorry. I had a huge big bowl of chilli before I started filming this. before, a couple of years ago, back when things were not as messed up as I thought they were back then, nowhere near as messed up as they have been the past couple of years, but that's another story, but back then I did a putting makeup on you video and my camera quality wasn't quite as good as this, not that this is the best, next to most ASMRs, but as I, as I always say, I do the best with what I've got, which isn't a lot at the minute. So, but at some point, I'm going to have to do a, a re-upload, a new version of the putting the makeup virtual makeover video with all of this stuff. So, what's next? Yeah, my 
my white eye pencil or the water line I think it is that's it the water line and I've had this for so long that all the writings came off it I don't even know what make it is it I think it's Rimmel or Maybelline it'll be one of them but I honestly don't remember it's like I used to wear this all the time and then I just stopped when I stopped doing the full face Um, oh. I'm trying to figure out what noises I can make with these seeing as I can't really tap very well on things because of, because of my short nails. Um, oh wait a minute, I could do some... quite like that. God, I look like a deflating blowfish who doesn't sleep. A zombie blowfish. Oh, for goodness sake. Stay. Don't do an ASMR video after you've had a full bowl of chilli for your dinner. That's my advice for the day. Actually, I could use this next item to... I've seen this in ASMR videos. People call it their... When they're brushing their edges, the little bits of hair that come down, and they use these to do it. I love that. This is my eyebrow brush and when I, I don't really have tails in my eyebrows anymore because I've groomed them that much over the years. It, they grow in down, like the hairs come down there when they grow in but they don't fully come back here. So all of this till about here is my natural eyebrow. I like to keep them like 90s thin, early 2000s thin. It just, it just suits my face better, trust me. I. When I first started drawing them on a few years ago, I would do them block thick unintentionally because I was just starting out and it just, it didn't suit my face the same. I don't have a face for thick eyebrows or dark eyebrows. So from here, just the tails, I just draw on. So, and as you can see, the bristles have snapped off the comb side of it because I was using it for my hair. I live next to the uh, the slip road for a busy, busy motorway in the middle of Scotland, so you get your boy racers and your night riders zooming past all the time. Doesn't bother me, except for when I'm trying to do an ASMR video. But I know a lot of people like background noise, I do, like mild traffic noises and stuff like that in ASMR. But my favourite is face brushing, like on the camera, or watching someone 
neck or back being traced by a fan brush or cotton buds, that kind of thing. This is one. I have a few ideas for this channel because it's over about two years I've had it now. And I can't seem to get past 22 subscribers. Well, I had 23, but I seem to have lost one. Probably due to my lack of uploads. So I need to start prioritising this channel more and see if I can do any pick it up a bit because I love ASMR but I've been so tempted just to give it up I'm so disheartened <laughs> but I won't I won't give up on it just yet I'll just try and put more effort and priority into it and hopefully then I'll pick up a little bit Who knows, I might even get to 30 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm kind of scared to actually touch the phone because it's balancing on a cereal box on the kitchen table and I don't want it to go tipping over. So, I'm not one of those ASM artists that's scared to touch the camera. It's just usually the my setups. <laughs> if I do, the phone's gonna topple over onto onto the floor, onto me or something. So that's this, and here's what goes with it: my eyebrow pencil, dark blonde. Okay, there is legitimately something buzzing very lightly right next to my ear. And I'm a little bit concerned about what it is. Excuse me a second. Moths don't buzz. I hope it's just one of those tiny flies I saw earlier. Either that or I finally snapped and I'm going totally insane. So it's been a long time coming. I knew the voices would start soon earlier. Oh. Dark blonde. This isn't a role play or anything, this is just the way I am. Super paranoid. Super messed up. That's what partly why this channel hasn't got a lot of priority. <laughs> Not your average ASM artist. But yeah. My because my hair is dark blonde and what's left of the red dye I put in is almost gone. I like to dye it red every so often although it ends up going ginger within about a week and it's meant to be pillar box red like sorry like similar to this colour like dark Darker, like dark burgundy red, but it never stays that colour. So I'm gonna have to go for pastel red next time, see if that holds. But this is perfect match for my natural colour here. This is all my natural colour. So, this is Maybelline. Can you even see that? And this is like the little bit I don't really use, the like 
bit for matting it, filling it in, like the mat bit. Oh. I feel this would be quite tingly in a, a in a makeover video. Now I have to be careful with this bit because it's actually broken. I always tend to break them all. And this is the what's left of it. I can't turn it anymore. Tiny. And it's it's broken. That's all I have left until I can afford a new one. And I just use this to carefully draw my tails on. Um, Well, let's neaten up your tails a little bit because I know I'm not the only one who doesn't have tails on my eyebrows. Oh, that's this. And this is my lasting finish lip liner and I don't know what the make is because it's not written on it. Oh no, Rimmel, it is. Rimmel. Rimmel London. L London. Rimmel London. Stop. <sighs> I need to sharpen that again soon. So that's this. And I don't, I used to overline my top lip a bit so that it matched the the size of my bottom one more. My bottom one's always been bigger. Uh, but with this, I don't overline them. I just draw very fine line. I don't know if you can see it under my lip gloss. Very fine line over the edge of my actual lip size itself. And sometimes I accidentally go a bit over the cupid's bow slightly, but it's barely noticeable. So I just do that, and it's basically just so that I have a an outline and then you can, I put my lip gloss over it and you sort of see the outline, like it defines the shape more. But I don't overline to the point, like some people, where you can clearly see it's it's up here on the uh, philtrum, if you know what I mean. Well, I think that's what this bit's called, on the moustache bit. Um, and sometimes I even just slightly shade my lips in with this because it's a lovely colour and just use it as lipstick and put my lip gloss over it and it's slightly darker than this when I do that but I have to watch because I love red lipstick and it it looks relatively okay on me it used to be an iconic look of mine but if I go too dark a colour on my lipstick because I'm so pale it just draws more attention to it I look really gothic, which I don't mind. I used to be a goth, I, I love that look, but when I'm going with my jeans and my yellow t-shirt and, you know, it doesn't quite match with that, I have to get some more black clothes to go with that look, I think. The second last thing, my infamous lip gloss, which is, oh my gloss, oh my gloss indeed. And I believe this is Rameau. It is. You can't see it under the cellophane because I couldn't get it off the lid. But it's Rameau. Six hour. But it doesn't last six minutes with me because I put it on, I go out, walk down to the shop, get a can of juice, and it's off. <laughs> uh, well, that's why I have the lip, lip, I draw the lip liner underneath so that even if this comes off, you know. I've got, still got, it looks like I've still got a little bit of colour on my lips, so, that. It always feels wrong when I'm, <laughs> sorry, but that's this in it, yeah. uh, 
This has got a little glitter shimmer to it. What shade is this? What shade is this? Um. My phone decided to stop recording because I had some storage issues apparently, but I've taken care of it. So let's resume, shall we? I think the shade is called Brilliant. For this. Brilliant. And it's like a, a... A light sort of a red burnt orange metallic and it's got a little glitter shimmer in it. Oh. Uh, this one. Again it's got the sort of holographic sort of a glitter through it like this does. Oh. And the last thing in my bag is my Muscaria which is Whoa Wing Scandalize. I really do apologize I feel like a heathen. I am a heathen. <laughs> but I don't like my bodily functions to appear in my videos, but <sighs> like I say, go meet Chili then fill me as I'm a <sighs> Rimmel. Again, this is Rimmel London. I love Rimmel, it's really good and amongst the bigger brands it's the most one of the most affordable as well. Uh, but This is something else I love in the ASMR videos that I've seen when people go. I've seen a few people going zigzag, 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 zigzag. Up, 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 I love that. They do that. Up, up, up. That's this. A lovely holographic label in the front. I love holographic things. <laughs> oh. The lid's holographic too, I just realised that. Right, let's put everything back in, shall we? See if I can do it in reverse order, see if I can remember. So I got this, and then it was, oh my gloves. Uh, and then it was this, I believe. And this it's not unhygienic my hair is clean I'm very clean too clean actually that's why I get dry skin a lot uh, what was next it was this wasn't it this came before the white one I think Lippy pencil. I love tracing videos. I'm when people trace on magazines and stuff on people's faces. I love that. I have to do. So you have all these ideas and inspirations from other channels. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's just re copying other channels. But every ASM artist channel copies each other. That's Everyone's just copying the original, whoever that was. This is how channels grow. It's just putting your own spin on already already done ideas, if you like. 
and that's the same with everything. Um, I mean, you think about it, the person who invented the first car, if nobody took that idea and modified it and put their own spin on it, we'd all still be running around in the, the things you had to wind up at the front, the chitty chitty bang bangs, <laughs> which would be pretty epic compared to some of the modern cars, but uh, anyway, <laughs> where was I with this? I do this, I get, I get lost in my own thoughts and it's really quite frightening sometimes, most of the time actually. Then it was this, wasn't it? The tiered line pencil, whatever. Um, this, wasn't it? Oh. And this. CW10. And then I believe it was this. Best for coverage. For breakouts, I mean, and if you have mild dark circles, I imagine it would work good, especially if you put some of this under it. But, and like I say about my channel, same thing I say about my face, I do the best with what I've got, which isn't a lot. <laughs> but, uh, and then of course it was this first, wasn't it? Oh. And then this. Oh. I'll have to get something to put at the bottom of it as like a base because it just flops around and things fall out it when I try and pick it up like this. So, so that's that's the only downfall of using a pencil pencil case as a makeup bag. No. in my makeup bag and now I'm going to probably retire for the evening and watch some um, that was my ankle and watch some um, proper ASMR <laughs> um, but yeah like I said I have a lot of ideas a couple that hopefully are original to me but most are just reruns of what 99% of other ASMRs have done, but I'm not the first and I won't be the last to recycle stuff, if you like. Um, but yeah, I'll try and upload more and put more effort into this channel. And like I said, hopefully it, it picks up at, at some point this decade, you know. So but I'll try not to give up in the meantime anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I'm off to um, secure the perimeter from creepy crawlies before I retire so that I don't wake up with one on my face or hanging above me on the ceiling in my bed because I have a mid sleeper, a cabin bed, and I'm like this close away from the ceiling in my face. So <laughs> if I wake up and there's one perch there, I don't have much space or time to evacuate, you know, so I'm here on my own at the minute so, for a week, so I'm going to secure everything and then I'm going to hopefully get some sleep, so I hope you enjoyed whatever the hell this was and see you in the next video soon.